ultimately, your best lifting will come when you turn that human side off. Because honestly, truthfully, we do stuff on the platform that the human body wasn't designed to do. You know, like, I mean, let's just call it what it is. Like, that's why after we do these things, that's why day after meets, you'll see some dudes and they can barely walk. They're in a lot of pain because the human body wasn't meant to be put through this, but we do it anyway. So yeah, you'll see a lot of lifters. They doubt themselves, they, they outthink themselves. And once you learn to turn that off and just go be a savage, you'll, you'll be surprised what you can do. Pretty much, you know, powerlifting was my way to get back to competing. As most people know, I was a college football player, you know, due to, you know, situations in life and just immaturity. Football career kind of didn't go where I wanted it to go and uh, was still seeking an avenue to compete, to be competitive, and uh, powerlifting was that avenue. Um, got into the USAPL in 2013 and, you know, pretty much saw what top level competition looked like and uh, I embraced it. I worked as hard as I could. Just, you know, just powerlifting is my way to compete. You know, my way to, I don't know, just stay young, I guess. I know, I know that sounds funny, but you know, when you find something that you know you really love to do, it gives you energy, it gives you life. And I guess powerlifting is that, that jump start or that, or that boost I needed, you know, after football. When you take, take certain aspects of life for granted, like I took football for granted because I thought it would always be there. Even though I had older people in my life telling me, look, if you don't work hard at this, it's gonna come to an end one day, and it did. And I just never thought that would happen to me because I was always, I was good at football. But I guess coming from where I came from, good wasn't enough. You needed to be great. You needed to be the best. And I didn't put the work in to do that. So once I got my opportunity in powerlifting to be great, I totally took advantage of it. I worked my tail off. I did whatever I needed to do to be great at the sport of powerlifting. And, you know, don't take it for granted because, um, you know, if you just look at what's going on in the world, just prime example, people dying left and right, you got to think about it. Look at it from some, look at, look at it from that aspect. If those people could get another chance to do it all over again, knowing what happened, they would live every day to the fullest and they wouldn't take advantage of any opportunity that came their way. And that's how I look at powerlifting. Like, this sport can be taken away from you at any moment, during training, during a competition, in, at any moment. So while I have the chance to be great, I am going to exhaust every, every resource I have to be great. If you try to, if you come to the gym and your, and your mental is not right, then you're not gonna find it. Like you don't walk into the gym you're just this bubbly person, then when the big weight comes on you, you tap into this dark side. You know, it's, it's not sorcery, but when you walk into the gym, that mentality is with you. It's in your gym bag. Like you put it on, it, it's there. It's like a t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? It comes to the gym with you, you know? If your mind ain't right, you might as well take the day off, do some accessory work, come back another, another day. Because mind is off, everything else is gonna be off. Like to do what we do, like thousands of pounds, uh, big weight like this in the gym by yourself, something has to be wrong, something has to be off. There must be a side of you that is just pure rage. And when you step in the gym, you turn it on, you go.
was looking, I was like, I'm pretty damn sure. I'm like, this white plate, this ain't 1.25. So, so nothing to be mad about. Hell no. That's 39. Yeah. I'm gonna get this big 4-0. Oh. crazy um like people talk about how strong the human mind is how strong the human body is my second to last set rep my mind told me that 992 pounds was on the bar but actually it was like 1010 so that just lets you know how strong the human body is once the mind and the body are synced um and then you throw that mentality we talked about, that animalistic, that rage, that, 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 that stupidness that comes when it's just you and the weight. You throw all that together and it don't matter. My mentality is, is squat or die. I mean, you come up in the gym and you come in here soft, you leave soft. You come in here and you train to be hard, you leave hard. And that's how I am. Like, what can you say? You gonna cry over spilled milk, you gonna cry over what you ain't got, or you gonna take what you got and make the most out of it. We take what we got and we make the most out of it. That's why I love being in the gym, my man. I mean, this is what we do. I mean, this is an iron dungeon. You come in here, you leave hard. You come in here, you get your mind right, you leave hard. Squat or die. That's the mentality. You can, I can say a billion clever things about mentality, but ultimately, when you got a thousand pounds on the bar and it's you in the weight, it's squat or die. Point blank, period. People ask me, what do you do different in your training? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I do what you do. Try to be the best I can be every day. And win, lose, or draw, give God the glory. Because at the end of the day, he's the reason I'm here. He's the reason I'm doing this. And last but not least, to all young lifters who want to power lift, who want to be great, who, who, are looking for, who are looking for answers on the internet, emailing, writing people for, for answers and questions, the answer is right under your nose. Just grind. Just grind. Figure it out. Grind and figure it out. Because that's what I did. Just grind and figure it out. Be the best lifter you can be. And I know I'm babbling right now, but man, my adrenaline is so high right now. That was my 40th thousand pound squat. I got 39 by accident, so I'm like stupid stoked right now. Um, man, I'm all over the place, but. Squat or die, baby.